And now it is my pleasure to introduce Andrea Hogue, who's with us on the comfy couch today from Litter Free 253. What is, number one, welcome to the comfy couch. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. It is great to have you here and our first guest this morning. What is the Litter Free 253 event? And also, it's the fourth annual. Yes, I, time flies. Um, well, four years ago, a little idea was born out of the West End Neighborhood Council. And um, I missed the very first year. I wasn't quite involved yet. But on the third year, I came on board to uh, the citywide event, Litter Free 253. And this event um, is brought to you by the eight neighborhood councils here in Tacoma. And we have locations uh, throughout the city where you can go on April 20th from 9 to 11 and pick up litter. That's amazing. Yes. So the West Council, you said, started this? The West and Neighborhood they Council. They birthed this great They event. did. They did. And in fact, um, I came on board because the um, persons that were running the event didn't necessarily have the capacity again. And I'm like, Litter Free 253. I mean, what a ring. What, it has, the name says it all. And I'm like, we cannot lose this event. Um, so I was able to step in and keep the event going. And with help from the other neighborhood councils and volunteers, we're in our fourth year. Excited for our fifth already. That is wonderful. Yeah. Now, who can participate and how do we participate in Litter Free 253? So who can participate? Basically, we ask that you be alive. Um, <laughs> we have things that uh, people of different abilities can do uh, throughout Tacoma. So even if you just want to come out, if you can't make the walk, you want to come out and hang out at the litter leader table. And that's where we'll be passing out supplies if you want to greet people. Um, really, the camaraderie of the event is the most important thing. And the beautification of the city by picking up litter is secondary. Um, it's all about community and bringing people together. That is wonderful. Now, do I need to bring my own bags, my own pickers or anything no, like that? No, you just need to show up. We have, um, I have a couple things right Props. here. Props on the table. We have these beautiful orange U-tongs that were purchased for us um, by Neighborhood and Community Services of the City of Tacoma. And we also have some fantastic, set that down, it's noisy, um, litter-free uh, 253 safety vests. because We want everyone to be safe and seen while they're out there picking up litter. And we were able to obtain these through a Clover Creek watershed grant last year. So branding on everything, and they'll look fabulous. The sea of litter-free vests. So what you're telling me is that on Earth Day, yes. April 20th, we're going to see a sea of blue vests throughout the community. Yes, absolutely. Making it a better place. I love that part. It's going to make Tacoma look really nice. Um, now, speaking of Tacoma... Have you partnered with any of the City of Tacoma services for this event? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've received support uh, from Tacoma Public Utilities. Um, we've received uh, support from Neighborhood and Community Services and Tidy Up Tacoma. The Tidy Up team, they're going to be coming out same day to pick up the litter um, in real time. And thank you to those uh, solid waste workers for signing up to take the overtime because it will be extra time for them to work and support this event. That's wonderful. Yeah. It's what a great time for it. It's amazing. The weather, uh, people are starting to come out from hibernation. The flowers are out. Fresh air. Come out and just get some exercise and meet people. Now, this is always a busy time of the year as so we think about our environment, particularly around Earth Day. And there's the Sustainability Expo coming up on the 13th. Yes. Are you going to be a part of that? Yes, we're definitely going to be down there in Tollefson Plaza. And um, we'll be handing out some litter grabbers and some vests during that event. And we'll also, neighborhood councils will be supporting that tabling um, so we'll also have information about all eight of our neighborhood councils there as well. Wonderful. And it's great that it's on separate weekends this year. Yes. I, as we want to do all of the things. It's been, it was a little bit challenging um, to have the Litter Free event the same day as the Sustainability Expo. Um, so this year you can come and actually sign up for the Litter Free event at the Sustainability Expo and we can help you navigate that Google form. Um, so we hope a lot of people sign up on the 13th. Wonderful. Now what makes Litter Free 253 such a successful litter event. People, volunteers, um, people coming out and caring about their community and investing in their space. And that is the value of this event. Um, we couldn't do it without the people. And so I, every day, like personally, I'm super thankful for these people. And as an organization, um, we cannot thank these people enough for showing up time and time again. This year, asking to lead locations. I don't even have to email them and say, hey, do you want to do this again? They're like, we're doing this again. Um, so thank you to those folks. That's wonderful. I love seeing those pictures scroll through of I people know. out there doing things to make the community a better place. Absolutely. Which is wonderful with that. Now, 
throughout the year, I mean, we're focusing right now, April, Environment, Earth Day. Yeah. Are there other events that happen throughout the year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, please keep a lookout for our pop-up cleanups. Uh, we're always combing the social media threads, different conversations. So we're lurking around and we see people going, hey, it looks terrible over here, you know, by this trail or whatever. So what we'll do is we'll arrange a pop-up cleanup and we'll go. Um, recently, we just did, there's a mural um, under the M Street overpass that's going yep. in, M Street and South Tacoma Way. Uh, there's still some more litter down there. We're going to be back to get some more, but... Just looking through Facebook, we saw people identified an area, so we'll come out there and clean it up. So please reach out to us. If you've identified an area, maybe you can't clean it yourself. Year-round, we provide litter support for these spaces. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now, on the day of the event, April 20th, we've signed up already through a Google form. Yes. What does that day look for us? Look like for us when we show up? All right, when you show up, you're going to be greeted by a litter leader. Um, and all the locations, when you fill out the Google form, you can select your location. You show up, you're going to be greeted with a smile. You're going to be greeted with, uh, of course, some light housekeeping, safety. You know, get, you're going to get your gloves, your vest, and you can either go out on the route that's provided for you right there in that location. So like 72nd and Pacific Fred Meyer, you could show up there, clean up around that Fred Meyer with, with their team. Or you can take your items back to a location of your choosing and clean up there and bring your litter back to the original location and tidy up Tacoma. We'll come and do the rest of it. That's wonderful. What is the time commitment look like? Two hours. Two hours, that's Nine bad. to 11. Um, I realized in doing this for so many years, like more than two hours is a bit much. Two hours is enough to get your supplies, bring your litter back and, and do a, a, have a pretty good impact in the community. Wonderful. Now, is it going to be a whole family event? Can you bring kids with you? Can you bring furry friends with you to go along the way? Absolutely. You can bring your whole family. Um, we do, we're a little, we're, please, um, we welcome service animals. Um, we do like to be thoughtful if some people are scared of, scared of dogs. Um, you know, maybe some dogs don't like big crowds. So we do um, ask people to be considerate. Just, just think about it, you know, where you're going. Um, of course, again, service animals always welcome. And wide open spaces, if you keep a little distance, your dog on a leash is totally welcome. So, Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question that you might not have the answer to. Sure. I'm sorry, but it's one that I thought I was like, I wonder, do you know how much you collected? Do you know how much you collect each year on these days? Oh, gosh. You know, I should have refreshed my memory. Um, tons. I, I, I don't have last year's number at the top of, of you know, my memory. Tons and tons eight to 10 tons, sometimes more. There's tons and tons of garbage. Um, I'm gonna do a little better on keeping track of that. I know that there was sometimes an issue we were using dumpsters last year, this year we're not using dumpsters. So we count bags and you can't really weigh the bags because you put a wet towel in it, it's gonna weigh more than the bag of plastic bottles. So um, we kind of do an ish there on the tonnage, but it's a huge impact. Wonderful. What makes you keep coming back year after year to be a part of this event? This is really a multifaceted question. Um, Go for it. I love that. Okay. I, <laughs> my first and form out, for, uh, foremost is um, I'm a recovered alcoholic. Um, something when you've had addiction in the past you can do to help yourself in your personal growth is to volunteer. Um, so I have almost 11 years of not drinking and not using substances. Um, so for personally, this fills my cup. Uh, secondary to that is I, the peopling. We keep meeting people. We keep networking. Uh, my network keeps growing as an individual. My network keeps growing as a leader in the community. And I'm always thirsty for that. I want to know everything about everybody. Um, so this event is great for you to meet your neighbors to build some self-confidence. If you're down, if you're depressed, come out and take a walk. And you can use picking up litter as your excuse to take that walk, because sometimes it's hard to motivate yourself. So use the community improvements as your excuse to get out there, expand your horizons, and just keep coming back. It's, it's the impact in the community. You can see it with your eyes, and it's the fastest improvement you'll get. You know, so. That's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Now, I'm sure we have some very community-minded individuals who are watching today. And if they were thinking, I want to be a part of this, but I also want to be a part of the leadership of that. How right. do they get involved in being maybe a litter leader or something like that? Absolutely. Well, the first step is uh, write down this email, tap it down in your notes on your phone or whatever you got, litterfree253 at gmail.com. 
um, feel free to reach out to our team. We will connect you with your local neighborhood council. Uh, they do litter cleanups there. Or if you just want to join the pop-up cleanups, we'll get you on the mailing list and we'll let you know when those are happening. Wonderful. Now, in looking back over the years that you've been involved with the cleanup, is there a favorite memory that stands out? Maybe one of those years that something just happened that you're like, I am so happy that this is going on. Um, it wouldn't be necessarily the citywide event, but definitely a litter-free 253 cleanup. Some, we have a fun side game. I'm going to call it a side game. <laughs> because when you're out picking up litter, you do f find some interesting things. Um, scientific calculator, still working. Well, great. Give it to a college student that can't afford one. Um, oddball things, but... We take pictures of what we find and sometimes, and it's the camaraderie of friends. So in private message or in text, like, hey, I found a $10 bill today. I upped your $5 bill you found the other day. So it's this fun rivalry, but not with found objects um, in the community. I found a cement dog that's taking a nap and it scared me <laughs> because it was in the bushes and I'm like, what is that? And then we have a good chuckle about it. So um, just there, the, the finding the found odd objects uh, really makes it fun. And so the camaraderie that's been built with that amongst other people picking up litter has really been a blast. I almost feel like they could warrant a museum of found objects from yes, litter. Yes, I would be, <laughs> I, do not let me spin off on ideas. I love that. Yes, found think, in okay. Tacoma. <laughs> um, what's happening after the event? After the event? Oh, okay. So uh, Council Member Bush now, I will be going to the District 5 Town Hall at this, the um, Star Center. But there is also an event for, um, oh shoot, excuse me, I'm thinking sustainability after. Um, the District 5 Town Hall, that is where you're gonna wanna be after the litter free event. But I'm gonna rewind to the sustainability event, Seven Seas Brewing Company, they're also having an event in the evening after that as well, so. Good reason to go to Yes, the go to both, Seas? go to both. <laughs> is there anybody you wanna share gratitude with today and say thanks? Yes, and I'm not going to name names because inevitably we get nervous. We're on TV and I'm going to forget somebody. Um, so anybody who has touched any part of this event, be it signing your name to a sign-in sheet, putting something in a box for a box of supplies, um, just showing up with a smile and great attitude and being a cheerleader, uh, the city of Tacoma, thank you, everybody. Aww. Well, thank you so much for being here today, Andrea. I appreciate you. Thanks for having what me. What a great event. Remember, that's April 20th on Earth Day, and we hope that we will see you there with your blue vest and litter picker upper. Uh, we still have lots to do today in our program. Coming up, we will have some fun with the Puget Sound Revels and Voice of Tacoma. But first, Tacoma Musical Playhouse will be joining us on the comfy couch. We'll see you back in a few moments. <laughs> 